Well, hi everybody. Today we want to talk about a very important topic, hazards in the home. This is something that you can help with to make sure your home is as safe as it can possibly be. First off, how many kids a year do you think are treated in a hospital for home accidents? Go ahead and take a guess. You think it's more than nine? You think it's more than 9,000? Would you believe it if I told you 9 million kids a year are treated in the hospital for home accidents? That's a lot of ouches. Let's listen to a song that will help us know what to do in the case of a fire in our house. Listen closely and sing along. Little Rosalie in apartment B, sitting with her brother, singing this song. La la la, oh oh oh. Then suddenly she knew that something was wrong because beep beep beep, the smoke alarm sounds. Beep beep beep, the smoke alarm sounds. She recognized that sound. Man, that thing was loud. Her little brother started crying out. But everything was all right, cause just the other night their family made a fire escape plan. So she knew what to do. Yeah, Rosalie knew what to do. She remembered one. Get up and walk, don't run. But you should walk briskly too. Remember to know two ways out of every room. Three. Get yourself outside quickly. And four. Go to your outside meeting place with your family. One, get up and walk, don't run. But you should walk briskly too. Remember to know two ways out of every room. Three, get yourself outside quickly. And four, go to your outside meeting place with your family. Nice job. High five. And we're gonna be safe, safe, safe Cause we made a plan, plan, plan In advance, fast And we practiced it with our family It's as easy as one, two, three, four We're prepared for emergency We're ready And old Sparky be so proud of me One, get up and walk, don't run Remember to know two ways out of every room. Three, get yourself outside quickly. And four, go to your outside meeting place with your family. We remember one, get up and walk, don't run. But you should walk briskly too. Remember to know two ways out of every room. Three. Get yourself outside quickly and four. Go to your outside meeting place with your family. Find your family. Go to your outside meeting place with your family. So what are the five most common home accidents? The first is falls. Tripping over things, falling downstairs, falling in showers and tubs. All of these are very common accidents. Burns. We heard the sound, uh, the song about fire. Burns also happen in the kitchen, around hot items, the microwave, the oven, and the stovetop, as well as fires. Choking. A very common home accident where food gets lodged in someone's throat and they have trouble getting it out. Drowning. At-home pools are a place of especially important awareness. You need to be aware of anybody or anything around the pool. And finally, poisoning. These happen from chemicals that might be cleaning agents, 
but also from medicines that are accidentally or improperly taken. Which rooms of our house do we need to be most concerned with when it comes to home accidents? And what do we need to make very safe? Our kitchen, very important. Here we know there's water, there's electricity, there's heat. So we need to make sure that our kitchens are clean and when food is being prepared, we're not bothering mom or dad while they're cooking because if their attention goes away from what they're cooking, sometimes that can cause something to get burned. Our bathroom is a second place with many accidents. There are lots of things to bump into and sharp edges and slippery surfaces. So we wanna be aware in the bathroom that we're moving carefully and cautiously. Weapons are another source of many, many home injuries each year. Weapons should never be touched by any child without an adult supervising. They should always be locked away to help keep everyone safe. Many times kids will pick up weapons thinking that a gun is not loaded or cannot fire or not understanding how a knife operates and the knife can pop out and jab them. We wanna make sure that our parents are locking away their weapons and we do not touch a weapon unless our parent is there telling us and helping us with it. The safe is very, very important for everyone's safety and health. Yours, your parents, any friends that come over, and particularly any younger siblings or friends who come to your house. We never want a young child to find a weapon because if they do, bad things can happen. Tips to stay safe. First off, keep hot foods and drinks away from the edges of tables or stoves. If they get knocked off, they can burn people. Turn pot handles toward the rear of the stove. Don't let pot handles stick out over the edge where someone may bump into them and knock what's in the pot over. Stir foods from a microwave all around before you eat them. Microwaves unevenly heat food. By stirring it, you spread the heat around so that you don't get a section of food that's very cold and another section of food that's really, really hot. Open items that have been heated in a microwave away from your face. Many times packaging will say to poke holes in the packaging before you microwave it because they can explode if they are not um, left open and just covered. Use oven mitts when removing dishes from the oven and the microwave. Many times people don't remove things from the microwave with oven mitts and they find out the hard way that that can burn you. Be sure you keep your stairs clean in your house. Don't drop toys, shoes, or clothes on the stairs. Keep little toys and magnets away from little brothers and sisters. Never put these things in your mouth and make sure they don't put them in their mouths. Keep little toys and magnets out of their reach. Do not ever go swimming in a swimming pool area without adult supervision. No one, even adults, should ever swim alone. Swimming alone is very dangerous, so make sure you have other people with you and you always have an adult watching you at the pool. Make sure your TVs and bookcases are anchored to the wall. Ask your parents, is that going to fall if someone climbs up it like my little brother or sister? If little kids climb on furniture, it can tip over and fall on them, really hurting them. If you're swimming and you notice at the pool that there's a loose drain, please make sure you tell an adult immediately. Don't go near the drain because the water going through that pipe is going at a very, very strong force. You could get stuck right there at the pipe. And remember, medicines should always be locked away. Only adults, your parents, should give you medicine. Please do not take medicine from other people and don't take medicine on your own. Medicines are really actually very complicated and doctors prescribe medication 
so that we get the right amount. One pill might look the same as another, but they can have very different amounts of medicine in them or different types of medicine. So we want to be sure our parents are giving us any medicine. Finally, be sure you're not putting electrical appliances near water. Electricity and water do not mix. In the bathroom, keep hair dryers away from bathtubs. Make sure we don't have anything plugged in where it could fall into a sink or um, come in contact with spilled water. All right. Well, thanks a lot for listening. I hope you've learned something here today, and I look forward to seeing you in our next health video next week. Bye-bye.